All right, uh, Shalom. Before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. The honors to the apostles, the elders of Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all that are talking, walk with them, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, this video is going to be based off, uh, you know, I was just doing some uh, reading and came across it, and it's something, it's a major plague in the uh, so-called, we'll say the Hebrew Israelite community, all right, uh, mainly concerning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, are people having a set, an obsession with money, all right, in this country and throughout the whole world. That's why you see niggas wanting to be rappers and uh, basketball players and uh, uh, models and uh, actors and shit, when they need to be getting their life set on the spiritual riches, all right, because when society collapses, when, oh shit, uh, 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 just a quick example, you look at uh, uh, the Batman, like brothers know Batman from the comic books and shit, when his parents was killed, that money couldn't save him. The Waynes, they was uh, mega millions, owning billions, all, owned all types of shit, but the riches couldn't save their life. And that's where our people are soon going to understand. All this money that they're selling out for, all the money that these hoes is, the women of our nation is sucking dick for, letting Esau bust them in their butt on a couch and then put it on the internet or, or put it on the closed tape and say if you ever fuck up we're gonna put this out on air so get out there on that stage and dance and sing these words and do this all right to the, our men out there they got these niggas they got grown ass terry cruz ass big old niggas dressing in dresses got niggas in rap videos holding guns in their mouth all right uh, 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 uh simulating fellatio dancing in dresses talking about how they kill up the block doing all this for money and the scriptures say otherwise okay. all right this first one proverbs 11 and 4 riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness deliver delivereth from death so in the day of judgment when the most high is going to send his son down here when yahweh shah is uh running amok down here and destroying shit there's no amount of money that can be given to him that's going to persuade you that's going to persuade him to not kill you if you're a part of the wicked so what if What's everyone so focused on money for? Like the scriptures tell you, you need to set your treasure, your heart on the treasures on high. Kind. Uh, you got some up? Uh, yeah, kind. Uh, this is uh, Matthew's chapter, Saint Matthew's chapter six and verse nineteen. Lay not yeah. up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt. Talking about down here, because every like the scriptures say, uh, the things of this world are temporal. All right, meaning temporary, it's not gonna last forever. These Benzes, right. these Mercedes, these Bugattis, these Lambos, these mansions, the pools, the partying, the drinks, the women, all these things are temporal. That's not what we're supposed to set our hearts on, especially us in this truth, man. Right? Just get you a decent job, let the Lord be with you, get you a decent job, a little decent car, and a decent place to stay, and can and help out the brotherhood, man. That's all that we working for. That's all, that's all I, God, I mean, nobody trying to be rich in this bitch. I just want a decent place for the brethren to come over, a car so I can get to work, make it to camp, and so I can have some fucking money so I can eat throughout the whole week. Huh. But what do our people want? Nigga, I'm gonna make it, nigga. Get famous or die trying, my nigga. You gonna see me on TV. That's not what this life is made for. That's not why the Most High created us. Yep. And just real quick, like you just said, get rich and die trying, like, <laughs> 10, 15 years ago, it was a rapper named 50 Cent, yeah. and he had a movie, uh, I believe he had an album called Get Rich or Die mm -hmm. Trying. There's a movie too. Yeah, he had a movie and a video game, that, at, which I actually liked that video game. <laughs> I used to play it all the time, I wasn't in the uh, truth yet. But anyway, because, and a lot of Jake's related to that movie, the album, because that's what Jake do. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you confusion the faces, y'all, uh, Tr die trying to get rich, man. Literally. You know what I'm saying? You would rather run up in somebody's shit and try and steal their dope and their money and get killed. You would take that risk. You know? Uh, continuing on. And where thieves break through and steal. Verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt. And where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasure is there where your heart which is your mind okay. be awesome and if your mind is focused on the heavenly things which the elect are going to be focused on then then lord willing that's what you're going to receive but the people that's their minds is set on the things of the world 
Just they just want to uh, uh, look good. They want money. I, I want man, fuck that hoes. I, I'm gonna get these hoes. Fuck, I gotta get my weight up, nigga. Get your paper up, nigga. Get your crew. I'm gonna get me. I'm be getting me my whip, and the hoes gonna. See. Cause you got people. Our people literally think like that. They just want money so they can get attention from females. Yep. They just want money so they can get uh, uh, some respect on their name. All right, let them tell it, and that's not. That's not what life is about. Because as quick as you can get it, as uh, as long as you have the work to get it, it can be gone in less than an instant. You, somebody exactly. somebody come up and rob you. They not be. They might not want your money. They might just want your life. Like that dude said in that song. Uh, <laughs> that fucking. He might be a confusion of face. French Montana. He said if they uh, if they masked up, they coming for your ice. If they bare face, they coming for your life. Yeah. All right. And Jake, there's no amount of money that you can give the angels, the elect, Yahweh Shai. And the most high when it's time to be judged. Alright, if you think who's a famous who's a famous nigga that died recently? Ultra famous or something. Uh oh oh oh, oh. that John no. No, Khan, uh uh ex, 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 Yeah, ex, yeah, Khan. Fuck him, he minor. They're one of the Rockefellers that died. Which one was it? Oh, I don't know. I know who you're talking Khan, about. Khan, the, yeah. oh, then that's that's a Rockefeller. That, that's a, a, a that's one of the families that's ruling the world. That's one right, of the right. elites. Yep. When it was his time to go, you think he could what? You think he was no, 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 Angel. I got some uh, gold back here. So if the rulers, the elites, Esau, the rulers of this world right now in wickedness, they can't even pay off their death. They can't persuade death to hold back for a minute through the exchange of money. Yeah. How much less us? And we're on the bottom right now. All right, I'm going to yeah. get this. The paint the picture. Ezekiel chapter 7, because these are the times that he's coming into. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse uh, 17 and really I could start up but I'm gonna start here it says all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water talking about in the times to come the tribulation they shall also gird they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces uh, uh, like, uh, and baldness upon all their heads mm. talking about the calamities to come they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. Mm. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. All right. So money is not going to be able to save anyone in the day of the Lord's judgment. Gold and silver, and today that's represented as money, because we're not yep. dealing with gold and silver like how we used to in the ancient world. When that's the Babylonians come, come. When the Babylonians came through the gate. Well, well, you think they will, oh, oh, give us some shekels and we'll go. No. And it's, it's going to be the same thing now. And then it said, uh, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. So the thing that you people hold and treasure the most is going to be the reasons why a lot of you people die out here. You're going to have niggas, they house get caught on fire, the troopers throw grenades and they shit and they blow up, catch niggas going to be, oh, I got to get the money from under my mattress. Your house going to fall on you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You got, you got it, huh? Yeah, I got the uh, one. Oh, you want me to bring them? Okay, I'll bring this one out. This is Psalms chapter uh, 62 and verse 10. Trust not in oppression. Which, it's uh, like, in order to make a shit ton of money in this captivity, you have to trust in oppression. You have to be sure. Well, this it's a FRN. It's a debt note. It's a, a, a I owe you. It's a I believe. What's the... Uh, the uh the exact word uh I, is it credit credit yeah, yeah uh credit. yeah it's basically i believe i we are gonna go ahead and say that this little piece of paper is worth 10 uh amounts of whatsoever mm -hmm. and this allows me to buy whatsoever and when that belief is destroyed then the paper is no longer going to mean anything a hundred thousand pieces of paper is no longer going to be equivalent to anything that's going right. to be a hundred pieces a thousand a hundred thousand pieces of ass wiping paper yep or, or some fire yep yep, yep. yep. Burn, <laughs> burning it. that's all that's all it's going to be and money has a distinct smell when it burns so you're going to be while you're going to be smelling money burning it has yeah. all that ink on it uh, become not vain in robbery if riches increase set not your heart which is your mind upon them yeah, okay so, yeah set not your mind upon uh riches it says if riches increase set not your heart upon them because we're not saying of course we need money okay we yeah. need money to survive like the brother said to have a decent car a decent home 
to be able to eat throughout the week. Yeah, we're go. not saying be homeless. Right. right? If right. you get a decent job opportunity, take it. Kind. But it's for the brotherhood. It's not. It's not for. Oh shit! You got it. Huh? Kind. Oh no! You had it. I, it's. It's. Uh, but you're not supposed to love money, okay? Like, if the Lord willing and Spirit have us, we're going to get that scripture. That money is the root of our evils. But I wanted to get this uh, real quick. This is um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 29 and verse 11. And it reads, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High Yahweh, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold, man. Okay? So what is that? Laying up our treasures for the most high, like in Isaiah chapter uh, 33 and 6. Acquiring wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times, man. When Jacob's trouble come and all this just horrible shit that's about to take place, man, if you got your tre your stock in the Heavenly Father and obeying His commandments, it's going to be more profitable than all the gold in the world, man. And if you, if you endure to the end and you're one of those men, Man, you're going to have all the gold in the world, in the new world to come. Okay? okay? And there's another scripture in Proverbs that tells you uh, in the jealousy of no, of a man, because it's talking about uh, of his woman, but basically it says in the jealousy of a man, there's nothing you can uh, there's nothing you can do. So basically in these yeah. times to come, when yeah. people really want your life, they're not, if you're uh, one of them, the kings of Dubai somewhere, with all these supercars and buildings and all the riches they have, if somebody when, in them days when somebody wants your life they want your life they want your blood to empty out of your body they don't want no money they don't want gold diamonds uh cars they don't, they don't even want no woman from you they just want your life to come to a, a halting screech and that's what that's why you're supposed to set your heart upon the things uh of yahweh by shim all right i know i was gonna try and Con. find that i think it's quick. like six or they're saying it will not turn away the rap Con, not turn uh, the away the rap jealousy yep. man money will something like that sloppy for butchering that <laughs> i can but i know what you're talking about Con. because uh say and i say for instance uh uh which brothers shouldn't be doing or i'll, I'll just use a worldly nigga as an example uh, one dude he messing with another dude wife all right and dude come home <laughs> dude come home early from work because he he already suspicious and he come home from work, and he find dude and his woman butt naked in the room. What you think gonna happen? Well, and well, he go grab a pistol in one hand, grab an axe in the other hand. Oh no, look, I got a hundred thousand right here. I'll write you. He not trying to hear that. He not trying to hear that. He's in. His soul has been swallowed by rage, God. and now he has to pour out that spirit. And what you think he gonna do? So he gonna lock him down with one hand and chop him down with the other one. And that's what's coming soon. These. All the things that these people went to college for, uh, these Edomites that stole their riches that was passed down to them because they stole it from us through uh, putting us in slavery and taking everything from us. All these riches that they have are going to mean nothing when their life uh, is requested of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, when the, you, what you going to negotiate with a pack of pit bulls? They don't speak no English. <laughs> here, here, little doggies. I yeah. give you, I, they're not speaking that. You going to talk to a Gurkha troop? Or uh, uh, some Spetsnaz, they speaking that Russian shit. They gonna look at you, they gonna have their white and black zebra shirts on, they booted up AK 47s, AK 74Us, AK uh, 74Ms, P yeah. uh, uh, Peshnegs. You yeah. think you, what, you think they're gonna be trying to talk? The 7.62 yeah. <laughs> coming at you, going through your flesh. <laughs> they not, ain't no money gonna be able to negotiate the judgment of, of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shah. Uh, you gotta, did you find it? Oh uh, no, I did not find okay. it. It's, it's fine. I, okay, well, yeah. yeah. You can go. Uh, but I do, I'm in Proverbs. Uh, it says, um, this is Proverbs chapter 23 okay. and verse 4. Okay. Labor not to be rich. And that really accounts for, that goes to us in these days. We, like I said earlier, just work. If you can find a good job, then, then take it. If the Lord bless you with a good job, take it, all right? But ultimately, we work for the brotherhood. I don't, if, look, I could be a bum on the street. Lord will it all happen but and be fine but we work for this brotherhood to pay our tithes to make sure brothers are straight throughout the week brother you got gas brother you got food you straight you want to go somewhere what's up you all right and then for yourself if you have a uh, family provide for your family all right if you, uh, so you can get you a car so you can make it to camp and make it here and there and that's that's all we need money for we and we're not supposed to labor to be more, you know what, man? I can, I'm going to say, man, I'm getting me a mansion, cuz. 
I know we, but that's not what we, that's not what we here for. Right. You know, and we want nice things. We Israelite men. All right. We want. We used to have nice things, so right. it's always in our spirit to want nice things. I, I would like a nice vehicle. I would like, I like a nice, extravagant, elegant house. But that's not for here right now. So we just labor just to have enough, not to be rich. Kind, cease from thy own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. Riches certainly make them. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Especially for the Hebrew Israelites. And why is that? Let me get it. All right, because us specifically, we're under a curse right now. All right, even these rich superstars did not blake uh blake yep. blake griffin yeah did not hit this nigga just get hit with having to pay 258,000 in child support every month which would equate to three million every fucking year and the nigga's contract is only 35 uh million a year that shit is if this place had time to continue on that nigga would go broke all right that's why money make themselves uh riches make themselves wings and fly away especially for the israelites we're cursed right now we are cursed we're supposed to be at the bottom Haggai uh, 1 and 6, let me find it real quick. Should be right here at it. Haggai, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's right here. Haggai chapter 1, uh, verse 6. Ye have so much, and bring in little, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, and ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Mm -hmm. That's upon the Hebrew Israelites now. We are cursed. The money that we are going to get, the majority of it, we don't even know what the fuck happens to it, man. If taxes don't take you, you got a kid, you got child support, you got to pay your bills so you have a place to stay, so your phone is on, gas yeah. every day when you got to commute to work and wherever the fuck, money disappears, man. You can get a nice big fat check every week and it'd be gone because we're in captivity. Was the uh, subject unto payments? That's also upon our curses. Okay. That's why we're not supposed to set our heart on it. Okay. Oh no, you got it. Uh, this is uh, the book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse nine and ten. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. Okay. So Khan, those who are, look, like you just, Blake Griffin. You think, okay, Blake Griffin got the skills to play basketball. You think he said, oh, I'm gonna go to the NBA for the love of basketball. No, he went to the NBA to get them riches, man. But okay? now he has to play ball. Hey, yeah, now he has play to play ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and yeah. Cause I was talking to that about the brother. Now that's gonna fuck his game up. It's no longer, okay, I'm having fun. I'm just making money. No. Man, I gotta pay this child support. That's gonna be in his head every time he step on the court. That nigga game about to go down. Yeah. And like you said, now he got to play ball. Man, Blake Griffin, I don't know what's in his mind, but he could have had a set. He could have said, you know what, I'm gonna retire <laughs> in five years. Yeah. Now he might be one of them cats that's in the NBA till he's 45, man. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? To play for like 10 different fucking teams, man. You know, because he got to pay till them kids turn 18. Or what not, you know? Uh, verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Let me read that again. It says the love of money, not having money, man, okay? For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, so... Basically, you know, there's the other scripture, money uh, is a defense, yep. but for the love of money, if you're soul, made, soul motivation, if you're Israelite, because fuck the heathens, let them do what they want. Yeah. If you're Israelite and your soul mo motivation is making money over salvation and trying to be right in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, then that's, that is where the evil comes. Because Job had riches, Abraham had riches, uh, 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 Jacob had, uh, had uh, riches after, he, after they had... Uh, before they had uh, uh, went into Egypt, when they had separated from, uh, when, basically when he had his big family, what was it like 70 souls or something? All right, who else? I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, King uh, David, King Solomon. Yep. All right, it's in our customs to have riches, but if you set your heart upon it, that's when it becomes evil. That's when it becomes, okay, most sides like, all right, he don't care about me no more. This nigga care about all that gold. Okay, take that, retract it back. Is that not the scriptures? 
The most uh, oh shit. What's that? How's it go? Uh basically if oh man. I forget I dang, I just it came to me for a second. But basically as basically if you love money the most high I take it from you. I forget how it goes, uh dang. I don't got my other uh I don't got my dang. other phone on me. But basically, uh, basically, as quick as it comes is as quick as it goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up after this video. If I can find it, I'll post it in the description. But uh, I forget how it goes. I, if I remember how it went, I'd be able to quote it better. But if you, if look, if the, the Lord can bless us with that money, all right. And if you said, if you being a nigga about it, He can take it away from you even quicker. Yep. And I just got one more. Uh, okay. Con, uh, Zephaniah chapter one. Verse 16, I'm going to start up. It says, uh, uh, says, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the, uh, against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Hawabashim uh, Al-Shai. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. So bodies going to be dropped everywhere. Verse 18, neither shall silver nor gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So once again, that money is not going to be able to save you in the day of judgment. Is, can you talk, is you going to be able to negotiate with a nuclear missile? Alright, he said this land going to be devoured by fire. All right, set your heart on the things of heaven, not the things of this world. Uh, you got That's something right. else. You got it. Uh, oh, no, I don't. Damn, know. I wish That's I knew that I was scripture was that. I'm man. thinking it's in the Surat, the Apocrypha. I forget how it goes. Lines, but it's not coming to us. Con, con, I'm butchering it. Con. But, you know, we hope this is an edifying lesson, a reminder again. You know, we're in this captivity. We, You know, there's money. We have to deal with it in order to survive here. We stress out about it, but... Ultimately, it's just a means to an end. It's just a tool that we use to keep us going. It's not the end-all, be-all in our lives. Our end-all, be-all is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what we work and strive for. That's our true uh, system of credit. That's what we believe in. That's what we go out and push His word for. This is our money making. All right. So don't basically don't set your heart upon them riches. Don't be like these niggas out here. These niggas gonna learn that, especially niggas that's living good. These all rapping, dancing ass niggas, acting ass niggas. They gonna realize they made the wrong choice. All right. Yep. So with that, we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachach, Rosh. The honors to the apostles, notes, Ben Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all of our him, Walk, walk, and learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Shalom, and a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball.